After last week's loss to Texas Tech, KU prepares to take on the number six ranked team in the country, Oklahoma State. Entering into enemy territory, the Jayhawks look to slow the undefeated Cowboys run at the Big 12 championship. Okay, uh, we're gonna beat Oklahoma State. Uh, have your mindset that you gotta be thinking about how am I gonna get this done? And then how are we gonna get this done? It starts with mental toughness. Uh, again, you hear this phrase talking about performing at your highest level regardless of the circumstances. Regardless of the circumstances. Talking about that you cannot let outside things determine how you're going to play and when you're going to play and how you're going to get it done. Excellent quote, Bill Russell, concentration and mental toughness are the margins of victory. There's no doubt about that. Uh, great focus. You got to be uh, mentally ready to go. Uh, again, when something there doesn't go right, you got to get yourself more determined to get it right and not just talk about it, not just think about it, but go out and do it. That's how we get better as a team. We say we're going to continue to work hard and we're going to continue to improve. It cannot be just going through the motions. We're trying to get better. All the things I'm saying here is just talking about getting better. I hope you want that from me. I hope you want that from everybody in this room right here, including your teammates. And you got to believe in your heart that I'm going to outcompete that guy against Oklahoma State. I trust my teammate beside me, behind me, in front of me, that he's going to help me and us achieve our goals is to win the next football game. Take the coaching, take the teaching, take the development of what we're trying to get done here. We want to get better. We want to improve. And we got to work hard at it. Led by Oklahoma State's high-flying passing offense, Whedon and Blackman have established themselves as the most dangerous duo in the country. Limiting their time on the field will be necessary for the Jayhawks to win on Saturday. While finding a rhythm against the Cowboys can be a daunting task, creating one off the field can provide some much needed relief from the day-to-day -day grind of the season. Uh, sometimes in our free time we just like to get together and jam and uh, it's nice to um, have other guys that play instruments. It's a nice escape from you know football. We get to do it in our free time. Uh, Taylor 814 CE. My mom bought me this. It's she, she bought me this when I was a junior in high school. I broke my leg and I don't know. My parents sacrificed a lot of stuff for me, and this is one of the huge things. My mom and my father both know I have a true passion for music. So. Um, one of the things I, I like about this team is that you can always find someone that you know has common interest in you. You know, being from California, um, I'm not too used to the Midwest and all that, but uh, a lot of guys that are out here are able to you know find stuff. And one of the things that brings us together is music. You know, not just football. All right, we're just gonna have a jam session, just winging it, playing a little blues. Don't man, the harmonic over here and us both playing guitar and see what happens. along with all those things, play him in the energy. That means when a guy is in the ball game, his eyes, his body language is ready to go, ready to play. He's not hesitant. He's not hesitant. It's not gonna mean a guy has to jump up and down and holler and scream. It means when he's on the football field, you looking and seeing in his eyes and his body language that he is ready to go. He is anxious for the call from the quarterback. 
He's anxious from the call from the defensive coaches on what the signal is on defense. He's ready. Give it to me, coach, so I can go make this play. Give it to me, coach, on the offense so I can go make this play. That's playing with energy. That's playing with energy. That's playing positive. That's visualizing excellence. That's where really that phrase is. You hear it all the time from me. Be physical. Football is a violent sport, so I want to see today. We're playing with a violence within the rules. Violent on offense. Violent on defense. Violent on special teams. That's what you can do. And that's what we will do. So let's go beat Okie State. Let's go. Let's go. Head on out of here. I'm new to it, Dwayne. Go. 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 I want you up there cheering. I want you encouraging. I want you to be into this football game every single snap. Again, you come off the field, you go on the bench and do what you got to do there, make your adjustment, but always stay in the ball game. We're going to make something happen today. Yes, sir. Defense, we're going to fly around. We're going to make some plays. Yes, Offense, we're going to keep making plays all day long. Have it in your mind. Have confidence. Play with it. Uh, what I talk about? I said a controlled violence. A controlled violence. The game of football got to be violent. Got to be violent. Offense, defense, and special teams. That's the signature that I want to see when we look at this tape tomorrow. That we revive it. That we revive it. And then we execute. We execute every single time right here. Believe, fellas. Keep playing hard and believe. Come right out of the gate every single play. And get it right here. Let's go. Violence. On three. One, two, three. Violence. Jordan Webb again up to the line. Now he backs up. One running back to his right. Cowboys are playing press at the corner. Here's a pass play, but he's going to be sacked. Whoa, he gets away now and throws, and it is caught. Kale Pick came back and got it at the 36. Uh oh, here's another pass play over the middle, and Beery, a diving, sliding catch. Yes. Close to a first down, he's got it. Have two first downs so far on this possession. We have to throw it, and I look around. Time. Runs out to the right. Throws it up the field. Beery at the 20 and down inside the 20. A first down. Good. Over Cowboy 10. Webb's going to throw over the middle. In yes. zone. Yes. Touchdown, Tim Beery. An 80 yard touchdown drive. And Tim Beery with three catches along the way. Tracy Moore to the far side. Blackman. And Hubert Anium to the near side. Here is Wheat back to throw on first down. He's wrapped up. Tobin O'Purham came in, bear hugged him, and pulled him down for a loss of 10. 7 0 KU. Wheat back to throw, rifles the ball, and it's caught by Blackman for a first down on the far side in KU territory. Third and four Cowboys deep in KU territory. Pass play for a touchdown. Right at the goal line, wide open, Josh Cooper. The Cowboys answer in rapid fire fashion. Running play this time to the backup running back, Smith. Down the sidelines, he will score a touchdown. Get off the ball, get blocks, execute plays, make tackles, wrap up. And that's what this game's all about. It's a lot of contact, being aggressive, being upset. Self turn, play action, he's going to throw to the end zone, touchdown. Wow. All Cowboys in the first half. Let's go. Hey, hey, guy. All you need to do here is just keep playing the game of football. Focus on your job. Do your job and play hard and fast. Do your job and play hard and fast. Win the second half. That's what you can do. Improve on defense, improve on offense, improve on special teams. That's what we do. Don't worry about the scoreboard. You just keep playing. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. That's how you play football. You keep playing. Everybody touch somebody. Bring it on up here tight. Bring it up here tight. 
Keep getting better. Second half was better. Second half was better. You gotta keep improving as a football team. That's what we're here to do. Just continue to improve every single practice. Everybody with me? Yes, sir. sir. Come on together. Bring it up here together. Touch somebody. Don't be back in the corner. Together. Together on three here. Let's go, fellas. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Yeah. 